Um, we have everything under the sun when it comes to educational programming. Um, our gear audiences go from anywhere from our pre-K age to senior citizens. We teach everything from um, conservation programming to anatomical programming, um, more biological sciences, um, to research, and we have various programs that go from learning about senses for younger children up to learning about um, endangered species maybe for older. We teach scout programs. We teach family programs that are geared towards um, families coming together and working on creating bat boxes to help with bat conservation or helping and assisting with our bird count. Um, we have animal encounters that are um, a relatively new type of program and those have really captured uh, the love of a lot of people because it's a more interactive experience. Um, we also have lots of different interactive experiences education-wise in the zoo that's not necessarily maybe a school program. So for example, we have a draft feed experience. Um, we have a contact yard experience at our barn where guests can learn more about our goats and our sheep and our chickens and our donkeys and they can go in and brush them. Um, we also have a bison feeding experience and eventually we'll uh, be reopening um, a new exhibit with uh, some different types of birds and friends that will also be an interactive exhibit as well. So a lot of hands-on learning on site within the zoo as well as separate programs that can be purchased. I think the most beneficial thing is um, the connection with remembering for the rest of your life. I think I've heard so many stories of children um, who will come back from being at our Elmwood Park Zoo camp. Years later, we've had um, individuals that have been campers when they were five who then ended up being volunteers who actually ended up being some of our part-time education staff have been here for so long and they talk about things that they learned the first time that they were here at camp. Um, and then that's what we that's what we want to do. We want to try and bring our message home. So the mission statement for Elmwood Park Zoo is to try and foster an appreciation for wildlife and the environment with the hopes that individuals will take action um, in participating for conservation. Um, and that's what we're, we're, what we're all about. Um, your basic requirements for working in the zoological field, um, when it comes to the easiest thing, the easiest thing I say that very lightly is getting a um, type of bachelor's of science degree. Um, so you need a four year college education. We look for um, as much experience as possible. Again, not really um, how my route worked. I got a lot of my experience here. Right, Sal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was very good. Education is absolutely essential in the zoological field so that we can participate in conserving species. Um, we have multiple programs here at Elmwood Park Zoo that we participate in, um, programs called our Species Survival Programs that are geared specifically towards aiding um, endangered species whether that be in the wild or animals that are extinct in the wild that are only now found in zoos. We are all about education and we're all about conservation. Um, so that education base is to help to teach and broaden the horizons of anyone who's willing to learn. Doesn't matter the age, doesn't matter the background. Elmwood Park Zoo's conservation mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, we do everything in our power to either raise funds or awareness. You know, not everyone has the ability, especially everything with COVID, um, to necessarily provide funds towards conservation, but awareness is a really key component um, to aiding in conservation because if no one knows about it in the first place, then they're not going to know that they are required of their help. Um, it was a learning curve as it has been for so many. Um, we had a very, and continue to do something um, that was very successful in the beginning of COVID called Zoo School Live, which we are now featuring every Tuesday and Thursday. And we bring our ambassador animals as well as our exhibit animals and talk about theme, um, as well as showcase our wonderful animals here at the zoo. All of the programs that we've done for schooling have also been virtual. Um, so we've used pretty much every single platform out there to try and continue educating the public even if it's distance.